It's time to go way back, all the way back to July 10th, 1978. This was when the world knew that Kings Island, located just northeast of Cincinnati, Ohio, would be building their new record-breaking roller coaster. It wasn't until February 6, 1979, when Kings Island named the world's longest, tallest, and fastest roller coaster in the world at the time, The Beast. During my year of working on The Beast as well as the Flying Eagles crew back in 2004, we had people all over the world come to ride The Beast during its 25th anniversary season. Everyone who visits Kings Island and rides the Beast usually loves the coaster. Plus, according to the Amusement Today Golden Ticket Awards, the Beast was ranked the fifth best coaster in the world in 2019. As a coaster enthusiast, the Golden Ticket Awards usually aren't the best awards to go by rankings. So this brings up the question, is the longest wooden roller coaster, the Beast, overrated? And is it better than other famous wooden coasters like Lightning Rod, Outlaw Run, Thunderhead, as well as the incredible RMC Wildfire? Welcome to Theme Park Predictions, my name is Brandon, and I wanted to say thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoy my channel. If you do, be sure to subscribe as well as give this video a thumbs up. Also, I just created a new Theme Park Predictions Facebook group, so go be a part of the group and share what you think your favorite park will be receiving next as well. The link for the group will be in the description of this video. I've always loved a good wooden roller coaster. Growing up near Kings Island and Holiday Road will do just that. My first ride on the beast when I was probably around 10 years old. Since then, I have loved this coaster, as well as the history behind this massive wooden coaster in the woods of Kings Island. But I often hear from fellow enthusiasts and Kings Island fans that they think the beast is the best wooden coaster in the world and is better than Six Flags Great Adventures El Toro, Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds, Knobles Phoenix, as well as Holiday Road's Voyage. Now, whenever I hear this, the first thing I have to ask is, well, have you ridden any of these coasters? Most of them say only one or two, and some say they haven't ridden any of the ones I mentioned. Do I personally think the beast is overrated? Yes, I do. But before you stop watching or think I'm crazy, hear me out. Overall, the beast is an amazing coaster. It's amazing how much room this coaster actually takes up. One of the most intriguing things about the beast is how little of the coaster that you can see before you take a ride on it. The layout of the beast covers 35 acres, that's the size of some smaller parks as well as water parks. The stats of this coaster are truly fascinating. The Beast was designed with an elevation change of 201 feet. However, the structure never rises more than 110 feet above the ground. The drop on the first hill is 135 feet, descending at a 45 degree angle. The second lift hill is 141 feet at an 18 degree angle. The Beast has three tunnels. The first is 125 feet, the second is 269 feet, as well as the third is 628 feet, for a total of 1,022 feet of darkness. Technically, you'll travel through four tunnels while you're riding the beast. The park counts a double helix tunnel at the end of the ride as one tunnel, even though you go through it twice. The total track length of the beast is 7,359 feet, making the coaster hold the record for the longest wooden roller coaster in the world since the beast opened in 1979. Here's a fun fact, the Beast cost $3.8 million to build in 1979. It would cost over $22 million for the park to recreate it today. Now everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and if you think the Beast is the best wooden coaster, I think that's awesome. I will not be one of those YouTube channels who only think their opinions are the truth. So do I think the Beast is the best wooden coaster in the world? It might be to some people, and that's totally okay, because they enjoy the Beast that much. Me? The Beast is actually my 11th favorite wooden roller coaster that I've been on. I love the coaster, and I love how beautifully the Beast uses the terrain, but the massive flat section of track that includes the trim at the end kills some momentum of the ride for me. Now I know why this trim is in place, and I get it, but I really wish the park could reprofile some of the turns. After the trim, they can remove the trim in the future. My favorite part of the Beast is the Quick Dip, which is also the fastest part of the coaster which is the right-hand turn down in the valley that's right before the second lift hill. This part of the ride is awesome, especially if you're riding at night while it's foggy. Talk about one of the best coaster experiences you'll ever have anywhere. I also really enjoy the ending of the beast. 
It's not too often you find a roller coaster with the first half as well as the second half. And the Beast's second half is the craziest part of the ride for sure. That's why you'll find the world's best double helix on the Beast. The Beast is the top 5 wooden coaster as far as night rides go. But during the day, this coaster is still a ton of fun, but to me, it isn't one of the best wooden coasters in the world. I actually prefer Mystic Timbers over the Beast. I prefer the pacing more as well as the trains on Mystic Timbers to me are a lot more comfortable than the PTCs of the Beast. So in my rankings, I have Lightning Rod as well as Outlaw Run ranked higher than the Beast. People visiting Kings Island as well as park locals are extremely lucky because they get to visit a park with four wooden roller coasters. Woodstock Express, aka the Beastie, best name ever for a kid coaster, the Racer, the Beast, as well as Mystic Timbers. And Kings Island was once home to Son of Beast as well, from 2000 to 2009. But we all know how that ended. And now Kings Island has Banshee, so that was a great replacement for the park. I would still give Holiday World a slight edge for having a better overall wooden coaster collection though, but one thing is for sure, there's nothing else out there like the Beast especially the beast at night so do you think the beast is overrated where does the beast lie on your top wooden coaster list let me know in the comments below as always thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos as well thank you